And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir Soraka. Going to be our second Soraka deck. Now pairing Soraka with Vladimir and the Crimson uh, units, all of them. We're going to see how these work together. You know, still trying to find our home for Soraka and Star Spring. Um, I'm a little worried this deck's going to be too slow, but we're going to try it out. So basically what we have going on here is the Crimson units want to... Uh, want to be able to deal damage to themselves because they give you some different bonuses. Certainly Crimson Curator is probably going to be the most important because whenever it survives damage, you get to start creating some more Crimson units. And so our Crimson units, since they're going to be dealing damage to themselves, you know, they'll be, they'll take damage until they need to be healed. And so Soraka is going to be healing our allies and especially Starspring, right? Because each round our Starspring is going to be able to heal our allies one. And that's kind of what we're doing is we're basically doing just one damage to our unit so we can uh, keep on healing them. Um, so it's a good combination because with Starspring and with Soraka, you want to have allies that have been damaged, right? Because if, if your allies have full health, then Starspring's not gonna really be doing anything because it's not gonna be healing anything. So that's what we have. We're gonna be combining those together. Crimson Awakener is gonna be a real important one here. Some do one to all other allies immediately and then end at the end of round, Starspring will heal them back. Vladimir's attack will be dealing damage to all of your allies that are also attacking and then whatever one survive of course will heal them back So let's try it out. Let's see if these work well together. We're gonna go play five games over in ranked See how they do Hey Soul Raider doing good I'm doing good. Yeah, definitely enjoying trying out all this new stuff. All right, so we have Twisted Fate Swain. We're going to mulligan the Fervor. I like the Crimson Disciple plus Imperial Demolitionist. That's a pretty nice combo. And I'm not sure about Culling Strike. I'll keep the Culling Strike. Like, <clears throat> Culling Strike can kill some things. Like, it can kill Twisted Fate, can kill Swain uh, that's not leveled up. So it can kill some stuff. Why doesn't Soraka say when I've seen you heal damage allies four times? Yeah, I'm not sure. They just they went with that other wording. So yeah, Soraka can just be in your deck. You can just ha have it in hand, heal allies four times, and then play leveled up Soraka. So it's not too difficult to play a leveled up Soraka. I love a taste of the action. So I know they can fairly easily kill my Crimson Disciple now, but still, you know, like we um, already traded with one spell with it. I think that's worth it. I think that attack's worth it. Yuppie, I talk to spirits. These are my rules. Make it rain is a problem, right? Like if I play Star Spring and then they just play Make It Rain, that's annoying. They're just going to pass. It's a tough choice. So I don't really want that to happen, and then we take a whole bunch of damage. Let's get a good look at you. No, we haven't played deep with the new monument yet. Planning on doing that tomorrow. I've not done that yet today. Sure, waste my time. Ravenous Flock, obviously, is just a card that's going to be a big problem if they just have, like, Twisted Fate. Red card, Ravenous Flock. It's going to be annoying. Cool. I kind of like that, honestly, because that landmark's not really doing that much. <laughs> so, you know, like, we traded a two-mana card for a three-mana card. I kind of like that. Turns on their ravenous flock. Looking for some action, Ed. Blood exists to be pumped, no? <sighs> yep. So when I do this, so the Crimson Aristocrat d does the damage, and you can't respond to it. 
So I want to do that instead of the Imperial Demolitionist, where if I go Imperial Demolitionist to try to target, they could kill my Crimson Curator before that happens. I want to make sure that we uh, get a free unit in hand first. Is that leveled up, Swain? Dang. So keeping Cooling Strike not looking like the best thing right now. I like your style. I like your face. Yeah, we played Tom Kench one time with Soraka yesterday, and I didn't really like the two of them together, honestly. We're gonna be playing Tom Kench up next. It's gonna be the second deck we play today. We play five games with each deck. So that'll be the second one. Um, Remember the objectives. Yeah, they have had the control hand, right? It's just been all removal over there. Wow. It's just been all removal. Yeah, like, we're, we're playing Ash and Kench uh, up next. We're calling it uh, Tom's Cold Cuts. Tom Kench and, and you know, like, get, he's going to get his frozen dinners and... I don't change fate, but I can see it. Let me guide you. I the level of cheek. So they've played two Ravenous Flocks so far. So it's not super likely they have another Ravenous Flock, right? Hopefully not. I mean, because we need our amp we need our allies to be damaged. Oh, just another Scorched Earth. Because we need our allies to be damaged for Star Spring, so it's just <laughs> we're in our catch twenty-two. Darn, I saw they're a red card. Eyes open. Hmm. Keep up, keep up. This looks like where they're going to start pulling ahead. Twist of Fate with the card advantage. Zap Sprayfin with the card advantage. These Star Springs just are doing nothing. To heal and protect. We still haven't even healed an ally once. Yeah, what do they got in hand? I mean, they still have five cards over there. We have leveled up Vladimir, at least. That's bad. Finally drew something to kill me. Finally drew something to kill me. I I did attack, didn't I? I did attack. GG's. Vladimir can block Swain, but I, I still, you know, I imagine that the four cards in hand can do the five damage to me or 
you know, be able to clear this out. Such little lies. It's just blood, darling. Ah, uh, couldn't surrender fast enough to not have this long animation thing. Pretty worried about our, our deck with that kind of, you know, just like our, our late game. Our late game looks really weak. Especially how like how that looked. <laughs> I haven't used that emote yet. Yeah, that animation's still just yeah, it's too loud and too long, the Yeah, I like the cool really and soul emote. I I guess I wasn't using it. I was gonna use that. Let me show you that really and soul emote's pretty good. Uh, have we played Shivana yet? Yes. Shivana was amazing. I I still think Shivana is the best champion in the set. Like I said to begin with. Oh, whoops, wrong wrong link. Uh, it's up on the YouTube channel now. Uh, our the Shivana video from yesterday. Alright, how are we dealing with a couple of 3-1 Daring Aporos? Ooh. Remember the objectives. That could be good. We'll use like removal on our on their attack turn, not our attack turn. Rules are made to be broken. Like this. Her people. Okay, so Jinx also, of course, a problem. Definitely considering going just Noxion Fervor here to kill Jinx. Um, I guess I'm just gonna Culling Strike right now. I don't feel like the Star Spring matters much that I need to spend two mana on it, like with uh, all the rest of the things we need to do. Alright, get excited here. So two options. Three options, really. I mean, and we could play any of these three. Alright, so we could go Noxion Fervor and kill Jinx with that. Um, we could go Astral Protection, just give it another four health. And then we're looking at nine health. So then they'd have to be able to two so like if they have like Mystic Shot, there's a problem there. Bastion would stop that. Again, Mystic Shot would be a problem. So any of these kind of work. I'm gonna go with the Bastion. This is the best case scenario is going with Bastion because then we can have the Astral Protection be able to heal this afterwards. Like next turn, like we play Star Spring, play the Protection, heal this, and then we start going towards that 22. This just gets blocked by one of these things. Kind of want to just pass. 
Yeah, I'm just going to pass. With them not using that six mana, I don't really feel like getting into a fight here and, and them having that mana. It's Draven time. Oh, that's kind of rough because that stops my culling strike with the spinning axe stops culling strike. So that's a little rough. No more. Um. Okay. Block here. Protection that. I guess I could use it on the... Yeah, I guess maybe I should just be easy on the... the Crimson Disciple. I guess I should just be easy on the Crimson Disciple. The reason why I'm using it on this is because the health is already more. Like, this thing already has... This thing was, you know, basically a 3-4. Instead of a 2-3. They both had the two health, so we got to heal additional points. Maybe it didn't make sense. Time for the money makers. I'm down to seven. All right, options Noxion Fervor. Uh, do three damage to them, put them down to four. Or is Noxion Fervor kill the Draven? I'm gonna kill the Draven. And, you know, th this thing was just a two, you know, three one for that turn. That was a great card for them to draw. See, our deck just runs out. Our deck's, our top end just isn't isn't good. That was a perfect draw for them, but you know, like they've they've been drawing a lot of cards to find that. But they've done a good job of the last couple of draws of, you know, finding more Dravens and now that thing, so that gives them three extra cards. I just can't go to three. Yeah, the, the landmark has really been underwhelming, hasn't it? They were... What? Did they just kill me? Yeah, that would have just killed me if they would have just gone the Spiderling. I have no cards in hand or anything. So they could have just killed me. It's our first champion. By the power of the stars. Our opponent's already played like four champions and and that six drop that drew three cards. All right, we're drawing champions. Got an axe with your name on it. That's good. Our deck look, is looking a little better. Rule 
Souls are made to be broken. Man, they have all their champions. I'd never keep my guests waiting. So we have Guiding Touch in here, right? Yeah, we have three Guiding Touch. So maybe we'll start chaining like three Guiding Touches together. Maybe that's how we can... Nope, never mind. And they had another Augmented Experimenter there? Yeah, GG's. Alright, playing against Shivana plus Leona. Love seeing Crimson Curator um, and Soraka. This, you know, like these are just better cards than what we had the previous game. I'm not sure if we need a second Crimson Curator. Um, but also, kind of, why not? Yeah, that that last game, yeah, we we did just draw all two drops and no no top end. Um, My faith protects me. The thing is, there's not there's nothing that's like fantastic to play top end wise Devotion in our deck. So both their champions die to culling strike, so we're gonna wait. We're not gonna be culling striking this thing. I have the name. I need the reputation. But yeah, last game we just had like two threes and Noxion Fervors. That's, that's kind of a difficult combination. That's why I keep the backup Curator. That's such a fast... Such a fast... Pass. Bleeds for the right prize. Daylight breaks on the battlefield. The sun's splendor reveals. Stand and fight. Okay, so basically, I didn't want a culling strike first before a single combat. That's what I was kind of thinking is that they were going to be single combating. That's annoying. Fire and fury burn in me. Ouch. I mean, so I can block the, the Shivana and try to Noxion Fervor and, and kill Shivana. No. That's a good card. A good card. You must teach me when you have time. I'll think about it. We'll just keep on getting more of those. Certainly prefer one additional to heal and protect. Um mana. Like this Soraka's wish. Be at peace. So they can have the 7-5, kill my Soraka. Um, but then this thing's a 
So then if they want to kill my Crimson Curator, they have to block with a champion. Guess that's worth it. Face my shield. I don't know, that could just could have just been a really bad decision. There are none like I don't know. I wish that culling strike would have worked on the Shivana. Definitely wish that. First light illuminates the land. To shine like the sun, you must burn like it. Levels up, Vladimir. All right, two out of four for Soraka. What's up? Come here, Dad. I'm not really sure how I kill this Shivana. So I'm gonna be working on that. My I'd never keep my hey Carter, what's up? Just doesn't look like our deck's powerful enough. Our deck just, you know, like that's really what it looks like. Like our, our deck just isn't very powerful. So with the. You know, the Vladimir took the damage from our Crimson Awakener, which then it did regenerate, so that does level up our... Uh, go towards leveling up our Soraka. It's going to be double stun again. Alright, playing against Soraka, Tom Catch. I guess we mulligan all these. Yeah. So we're making one change in between these games because we're you know, looking for something. Instead of the 2 3 Crimson Disciple, we're going to try Mountain Goat, where it can strike and create a gem in hand. It's not as good against two, you know, just generic tutu though. It's a big responsibility to shepherd stars. Round them up. I feel 
feel better when you feel better. I really hope they don't have Pale Cascade. Please don't. That is just a killer. That's a killer. Let me guide you. Dang. I'll scrutinize something scrumptious. Alright, this this deck just does not work. <laughs> this This deck does not work. We're gonna go on to a different deck. So basically yeah, these 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 just don't work together. We're just playing a very, very bad Crimson deck. Cause so like the Crimson need need to be really aggressive. Like you you need to be pretty aggressive with your Crimson stuff. Um and like these Noxus cards, but then you know the Soraka's being defensive. It's like our Star Spring and our Soraka just don't do anything in this deck. Yeah, like this we're gonna have to yeah, we just have to like we've we've had good success with with these crimson cards before. I don't think the problem is Vladimir. I don't think it's the problem is you know like like aristocrat, demolitionist, curator, awakener, Vladimir. I don't think that's like the problem. Like that's a good shell for a deck, but I think you just have to play like you should play that with like Demacia, where you can play the tough cards and and play some fight spells and you know, maybe play that like with with have a, a good top end with like Swain and Leviathan alongside those. Like those, those are like a good shell for a deck, but then you need you need power to go along with it, right? Like so, you need like, um, you know, like your single combat concerted strike, Leviathan, Swain, you know, like that kind of stuff to go along with that shell. A lot of power. Soraka, Star Spring, like these are not powerful cards. And you know, like maybe once you have leveled up Soraka and you're doing a whole lot of other healing and stuff, but these Crimson cards don't do healing on their own. Um, you know, the Star Spring, if they're all taking like a little bit of damage, like that was the hope, but just how it plays out, like you, ha you have Star Spring and you have like two units and your units are going to like die in combat and trade off and they use removal spells on them and you're just left with Star Spring that's doing nothing. Um, so yeah, like this, this just doesn't work. So 0 for 2 so far with looking for Soraka decks. We're gonna have to, to keep on going. I think, um, yeah, we're gonna have to just try something else, but I don't think the problem was Vladimir. I think the problem was Soraka with this deck, Soraka and Star Spring. All right, but anyway, you know, we're these are new cards. We're, we're gonna, you know, keep trying stuff out. You know, that's that's only something to know by trying and playing games, and that's what you know, that's what we found out here. Um, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, let me know how are you having success with Soraka? What are you what are you doing with Soraka? I'd like to to hear that. I'd like to you know get some feedback from you on that new card. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching some Vladimir Soraka. I really appreciate it, and I will see you for the next video.